This is Cameron. Who? And I created this image a week ago. And this is Cameron 2.0 a week later. Oh no, he's hot! In this video, I want to share with you my process of studying and some tips you can use for your own drawing quests. So if you're ready to level up, keep watching. Day zero, assessment day. I never really had a grasp on how to draw faces. Most of the time they would just come out looking crazy or flat, and I was just sick of it. Especially my inability to draw men. So that's how Cameron was born. I conjured up this drawing from my mind without any reference, big flex, to gauge my drawing skills. And I must say, I was really annoyed during this process. Why? Because my lack of skill and technique was being reflected back at me clear as day. Drawing faces is hard enough as it is, especially from the front view, but I was determined to make it work. So I signed up for 7 days of suffering. Looking at the final image of Beta Cameron, I set my 7 day goal to 1. Understand the head as a 3 dimensional object, 2. Understand the shape of the jaw, from different angles, and three, the placement of the features. To start the drawing session, I decided to review the basics of head construction with this wonderful book, Figure Drawing, Design, and Invention by Michael Hampton. Amazing book, highly, highly recommend. After reading the book for a little bit, I started drawing my heads as a spear with an invisible line that wraps around the entire circle to force my brain into seeing the head as a three-dimensional object, just like the examples in the figure drawing book. And while I'm constructing the face, I'm keeping the basic Loomis proportion in mind. For example, the bottom of the nose being in line with the bottom of the ears, and the top of the ears being aligned with the bottom of the eye line. These are just warm-ups, so I'm allowing myself to draw whatever I think is correct. After warm-ups, I took to my iPad and started doing studies from Pinterest photos. What I would do is trace over the image with simple shapes and guidelines and try to replicate that image based off of the guidelines I set. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, Well, here's the issue. I can only draw decent if I'm using reference, and don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with using reference. I just want to improve my fundamental understanding of the face so I can feel more confident about my drawing abilities. And two, I'm not satisfied with my general style. By doing these studies, I hope to come closer to drawing how I want. Back to my studies. I wanted to mainly improve on drawing men, but I drew women anyway because I needed some stress relievers. Which leads me to lesson number one. You can only improve as much as your eyes are willing to see. Meaning, if I keep drawing the same thing without deeply analyzing my mistakes, I'm bound to keep repeating them. Day two. I jumped straight into studies on my iPad. I wasn't really feeling like studying that day, so I switched to drawing heads from my imagination. This was kind of a cheat day because I didn't draw men. As much as I believe in pushing yourself, Studying needs to be fun, first and foremost. Lesson two, if you don't feel like practicing, draw something you like, or that you're comfortable with. Drawing something is better than nothing. So I managed to get myself together after a few minutes and decided to draw and study eyes. When drawing anime eyes, it's so easy to forget that the eyes are a sphere wrapped between upper and lower eyelids. Studying the eyes really helped this concept stick into my brain. I couldn't wait for the next day to apply what I learned from today's session. Day 3 I started to warm up by drawing heads from my memory while trying to recall all the knowledge I racked up from the past two days. And well, the results were... What is that? Disappointing. It almost felt like my skills had regressed, but I tried to be gentle with myself because after all, they were just warm ups. However, I did learn some valuable insights from these sketches. 1. I noticed that I had difficulties drawing the eyes at 3 fourths, and 2. My male faces had very feminine and moe structures, for example the big head and slim neck. 
So today's goal was to practice drawing and scaling the face at three fourths. Lesson three, when you're learning something new, make sure you have a clear goal in mind for each session. Again, I'm doing studies from Pinterest and then after those studies, I try to draw the image again from my imagination. I'm not too worried about the hair for now. I'm just focusing on the face and its structure. Day four. Day four, I decided to switch things up and learn the planes of the head from this lovely 3D model. The goal for this day was to learn how lighting affects certain part of the face. Because not only do I want to level up my drawing skills, but my coloring skills as well. To reach this day's goal, I thought it would be a great idea to use Copic markers to create and shade in each plane of the head. It was a good idea at first, until I realized most of the grays I needed were either dead or non-existent. It was a little disappointing because I was so happy with how the drawings came out, but the coloring on the other hand could use a lot of work. I quickly grew frustrated and gave up on the idea and drew some eyes to calm me down. I never went back to learning the planes of the head, oops, instead I drew some random heads digitally. I may not have reached my daily goal, but I sat down and drew nonetheless, so it's a successful day. Day 5 starts back up again with a warm up. And I noticed that my general face shapes have improved alongside the placement of the eyes. However, I still struggled with things such as the nose and the mouth placement. So what I decided to do was give the 3D head another try. I positioned the model to a 3 fourths view and instead of using Copic markers, I used charcoal pencils to block in the shadows and tones. I didn't have much time to draw that day, but I grew bored of drawing the same type of faces and random models from Pinterest, so I switched things up. I decided to draw some video game characters. Hi Virgil. And that helped me break up the monotony by a landslide. Drawing video game characters saved me from the existential crisis I was put into from drawing all this semi-realism. It hydrated my skin, cleared my acne, and uncovered my life purpose all in one sitting. No matter how much I run away from it, at the end of the day, drawing anime slash video games is my essence. Day six. I literally don't know what happened on day six. I only managed to draw this guy? Uh, I, I guess I'll say I was practicing coloring for the big day tomorrow. The moment of truth has arrived. It's time for me to put to the test what I learned throughout the week. Honestly, I think how I organized my study sessions could have been a bit better, but I drew every day, so I think that gets a pass. And keep in mind, these studies weren't that long. Sometimes they range from half an hour, one hour, to two hours the most. One thing I noticed after a week is that my line confidence has improved. When I'm drawing my guy lines, the amount of times I erase is greatly reduced. And because I'm more familiar with thinking about the head as a three-dimensional object, the placement of the features becomes a lot easier. So here's what I learned about studying from these seven days. One, getting to know your subject on a 3D level prevents your drawings from looking flat. Two, drawing consecutively helps to keep your momentum and understanding. Three, you don't have to draw all day. I found that my shorter period studies were more effective than my long period studies because after a certain period of time, my brain stops concentrating. Find whatever that magic number is for you and try to maximize your study time within that frame. You don't need 30 days to improve your art. One day alone is enough to see a dramatic change in your skills. I know it may seem obvious, but someone might need this reminder. If you're someone, hey, how's it going? The moral of the story is, no matter if you practice drawing for one day, seven days, or 30 days, if you sit down to study outside your comfort zone, you will improve, even if you don't feel like you have. If the art gods could make you a master in one skill, what would it be? Comment down below, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And I will see you again next time.